today on celebrity script button power should you agree button power like i love i love that i love that for i love Hello everyone, my name is Stella Sade and I am an actress, a model, a brand influencer, a former beauty queen and entrepreneur. Uh, I do so many other things, but for now, yes. Oh, and I'm a student, so that's it. Why acting? I think I, I picked it up as a hobby from Sunday school from senior high school and it comes to me naturally so I just decided that why not do this after I was I was given the opportunity to to be in one movie that was um, Sugar with Kitty so I I think I I enjoyed it and I was like okay why not I've been given the opportunity to live someone's five years or ten years life in a week or a month so yes let's do this but I didn't really think that I'll be making money from it I didn't really think that I'll be like I'll be I'll be using that as a profession but yes for now it is what it is life happens so why not What do I do aside acting? I think I've, I've mentioned it earlier that I'm a model, I'm a brand influencer, and also I host, I, I sometimes host TV shows or anything, yeah, that comes with thought, that comes with talking, <laughs> that comes with talking. So yeah, like, like I mentioned earlier on, I am a model, I'm a brand influencer, I host TV shows sometimes, I mean, anything that comes with talking, yeah you find me there i do voiceovers also and yeah basically that's it so that's what i do and i'm still a student i'm still a student what inspires me i draw inspiration from so many things in life from kids to adults everything everything that happens with, uh, within this within the space i'm in within my territory inspires me it's either in a wrong way or in a bad way whatever it is good or bad i'm i make sure that I, I i pick something from it to keep me going in life because as a human being yo you need to be versatile you need to be open to to learning so yeah i I pick inspiration from everything and anything. So life, life inspires me. As long as there's life, there is hope. Yeah. How do I get into character? It's sometimes it comes easily when you can relate with the character that you are playing. And oftentimes you need to to um, bury yourself like if, if I'm Dela I need to know that at that moment Dela is not needed here self-awareness out of the window throw it out and I usually call my name by the character when I'm on set and I try as much as possible to stay in character till I leave the set it's it can be difficult to snap out of it sometimes but then I try as much as possible to stay in character to right from the time i get on set if i have to be playing somebody's girlfriend if i have to play someone's husband i am glued to the person because in real life husbands and wives stick together you understand so yeah it's just practical you just need to be practical about it and then you're good to go my childhood celebrity i have a lot but since i am somebody who likes music i would say A.B. Crenshaw and J.D. Blay Angli, J.D. Blay Angli, J.D. Blay Angli, J.D. Blay Angli. I like him so much. I like his style of music. I like, I just like how calm he is, but he, you can see that he has some bomb energy inside him and I love him for that. Yeah, and then A.B. Crenshaw is also like very calm, but his, his music is, I mean, danceable and all that. Um, acts like your childhood celebrity. Oh, so then let me just sing one or two of um, J.D. Blay's song and Evil Cancel's song. J.D. Blay and Bully, I remember. Me, I brought you a secret smile. 
give you a rod of control. And then he says, you know, man, you know, man, you know, man, you know, man, you know, man. It, bah. And then, um, it Quenzels has this song that I really, really, really love. Um, once I then go for cinema, I saw some girl, she they resemble my sister. And then in there's like, but some power. She agree? But some power. Like, I love, I love that. For, I love, I love, love that. I love high life. I like um, life band. You know, I live for all those things because I, I like to dance. I like to move my body. So, yeah. what are my challenges and how do i overcome them i think i come across as a nonchalant person and people people misinterpret it as me not caring but i am very caring just that i like to take things slowly and i like to take things at my at my own pace because really i can't come and kill myself so my demeanor when it comes to reacting to situations makes people think that i am um, i don't really care about what's what's going on in your life and i don't but i really care i think about it but if i don't have the solution there and then i am not reacting to it and that is what people don't like to see but i think that is the best in my opinion i think if you don't have the solution you need to calm down and think about it so how i'm overcoming this challenge is that i am i'm asking more questions even though it feels uncomfortable for me facing your fears and facing your challenges is is, is going to be uncomfortable and i accept that so the first stage is that you identify that is your problem or that is a challenge for you and then the second stage is you finding ways and means to um, overcome that challenge and so i am working on that message to my followers and fans i would like to say a very big thank you to everybody thank you for watching this video thank you for subscribing to this channel thank you for liking thank you for sharing and then to my fans and followers i love you so 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 much and thank you for the support and everything that you that you've been doing for me so far i appreciate it those that will come and follow me and give me encouragement in my dms i see it i see all and i want to thank you so much i say keep the support coming let's keep praying for each other and god is definitely going to do it for all of us see you at the top where you belong yeah yeah if you want to see more videos like this one subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for watching